there were 12 best of 2017 gifts to see. From the Capitol to the White House, the best moments of the year are now played on a loop so that we can all stare. Without further ado, here are the 12 gifts that wrap up the year like the most wanted gifts. Speaking of gifts, on the day of President Donald Trump's inauguration, he and soon-to-be First Lady Melania met with then-President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama at the White House. Like any good guest, Melania Trump brought a present. And not just any present. A blue box from Tiffany's. But the handover was really awkward because no one seemed to know what to do with the present. It resulted in this wonderful gif and even a mim of Michelle Obama's face. Lesson learned, always have a gift table. Just put one on wheels and cart it around with you. Problem solved. Nobody puts POTUS in a corner. Trump was not about to get left in the dust by his NATO allies. In this gif, he pushes his way to the front of the pack, sliding past the leader of Montenegro. Trump loves trucks. He has even worn a button that says so. So it should not have been surprising to anyone who ever had a childhood that the president took the opportunity to climb into the cab of a truck when given the chance in front of the White House. It came while meeting with trucking representatives. He then proceeded to live the dream and pretend to honk the horn and drive the truck. The moment earned some criticism, but let's be honest, a lot of us were just jealous. Everything is awkward. Politics. Diplomacy. Life. All of it. That fact was best illustrated in this moment from an Oval Office meeting between Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in February. Trump has become known for his streak of notable handshakes, but this one really started the ball rolling. It has many of the hallmarks of a Trump handshake, the tug, the hand pat and the thumbs up afterward. But it's Abe's face afterward that really made this one of the year's best gifts. Three years after its heyday in the real world, the dab finally made its way to the Capitol in 2017. Speaker Paul Ryan has had several run-ins with the dab, but this one was truly spectacular. As I wrote in January, dabbing is an upper body movement, made popular by Carolina Panthers quarterback Cam Newton and made embarrassing by former Representative Loretta Sanchez during a political debate. The son of Representative Roger Marshall decided to dab during his dad's official swearing-in photo, and in the moment above, you can see Ryan discover the dab. And shut that nonsense down immediately. We had a solar eclipse earlier this year. Perhaps you remember the one thing pretty much everyone remembers from elementary school science class, don't look directly at the sun. Ever. Trump lives by his own rules, as evidenced here when he removed his eclipse glasses and looked directly at the sun. He's fine. It's totally fine. Sometimes you just need to know when to admit defeat. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell knows this well. Back in February, during a town hall event, an angry constituent tore into the senator. And he knew when to just let it flow over him. Remember that time Senator Marco Rubio grabbed a drink of water during his response to the 2013 State of the Union address? And everyone thought it was hilarious. Remember when Trump did it? And everyone still thought it was hilarious. Dehydration is no joke, my friends. You could get a headache, irritable, sleepy. Use this gift to remind you to drink more water in 2018. Japan's Abe is really gunning for best supporting actor in a GIF this year. He and Trump were feeding some koi fish, as one does, during Trump's visit to Japan in November when this happened. Objectively, if you look at how much fish food there was in each of their boxes, spooning it out bit by bit would have taken a literal age. Trump and Abe did everyone, fish included, a favor by just dumping the food and moving along. White House Chief of Staff John Kelly knows how to live his best life. He got a new job, cleaned house, got behind the White House podium and told everyone he wasn't getting fired. I'm not quitting today, he said. And I just talked to the president. I don't think I'm being fired today. Coming from a place of job security sure puts some pep in Kelly's step.
sometimes politics is relatable. This moment from October was one of those times. Trump walked in the room to sign an executive order on health care. Senator Rand Paul acted like his ex-best friend had awkwardly walked into a party. If you'd like to recreate this nonchalant response, you can repeat the following steps at home, clasp your hands in front of you look down at the floor look in the opposite direction of the entering second party start to kind of casually turn back in their direction you'll be navigating your way out of awkward situations in no time, thanks to Paul. Did you think you'd make it out of here without a bidden gif? Come on, he was the vice president for three weeks at the beginning of the year. And boy, was his last ceremonial senate swearing in a hoot. After the year we've had, that toddler is all of us.